ratio. 63% for Tate, 60 for Peltz of Friday Night Fights, our matchmaker, and got that squared away, and Sosa's in the ring. Sammy, of course, manages and trains. Guy who's a step down in class, he's been taking a turn up, a little different. He's taking a guy who's been in there with good fighters, he can bank, and he's experienced. Sosa has good height, but you can see, we've talked about this many times, he doesn't use his height real well. Let's throw a bunch out, out, but you can rotate your shoulders back, throw those shots to the body. Proper choice stepping in, he can do it in a different situation. He can just punch his shoulder stop right inside. He doesn't have to step inside. When Sosa brings his hand back to throw wide, take control in between the punches. Right there, first round, but uh, Sosa done with the arch. You have an example if you have a guy who has a title fight on the line with tape. A couple months he punches his man. Sosa does win this fight. Well, he's been on the downside. There's no doubt about that. And that's why he's so dangerous, because as I just said, his whole career is in a balance here. Tate missing, Sosa scoring through the first three rounds of the scheduled 12 round bout. Real solid commissioner here of this state was good enough to come over and let us know that it was a headbutt. Get up a little bit, That's not get caught with those wide punches, stay inside those punches, punch inside like he's doing now. Those short punches like that, and they go around the guy. The right hand started it. Tate missing there. Oh, good right hand by Thomas Tate. Mitch Hopper looking to step in and stop it. Thomas Tate just unloading on Murky Sosa. Sosa with a few answers. He's come back, otherwise the referee's real close. He's even, he kind of let, he's doing his job, the ref. He kind of let Sosa know, you know, I'm close here, buddy. He nearly, he was very close to stepping in and stopping it. Now it's Sosa with some shots of his own. Yeah. Right hand by Tate found the mark. Blistering bombs in round number four, mostly thrown by Thomas Tate. I have a 38 37 now. Florida right back. I still have Sosa ahead because the first three rounds. And it's a bomb fight. Saad wouldn't have had the career. Right hand by Sosa. Didn't land flush, and Tate missed with his counter. Four, a big round for Tate, but in the other rounds, well, you've got to give Sosa a lot of credit. And Sosa backing up Tate. Boy, he came back and won that round, so to lose a my scorecard, and he's continuing where he left off here. You know, sometimes... No. Nice kid, Sosa, the real war. Oh, he got hurt there yeah. with that uppercut. Yeah, his legs buckled, and down goes Sosa. To Mitch Halpern. Boy, there's a lot of time left. 30 seconds could be an eternity, but a guy's hurt that bad. Sosa flipped through the ropes, trying to get out of harm's way. Tate looking to get stopped here. Touches. Well, he's got 20 seconds left to go. It's going to be hard for him to survive there. He cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Pretty remarkable. Especially the kind of wars he's been in in his career. And one after another. Right hand by Sosa. And then a right by Tate sends Sosa down. He was more upset that he got caught. You know why he's okay? He was able to see the punch. Yep. Sosa goes down again here in round seven. But he's still got right hand by it's Sosa. That's if he wins here. Sosa answer, Tate answers back, but Sosa landing the better punches here in round eight. Sosa actually then sometimes got low to sleep a little bit. But a good round for Sosa. Good workmanlike round. Nothing real pretty. Just plenty of guts and thrown punches. Interesting, because in round four, there were no knockdowns. He made a 10-8 for Tate as he scores with a couple of right hands. Sosa answers back. Yeah, he got caught, and he came right back, punching. Caught Tate a little bit because Tate was admiring his handiwork. Expense it later. Sosa blocking those shots, and he scores with a left. See, he hurts you with unconventional punches. Top of the head, all over. Boy, the crowd loves this fight. This is a typical Murphy Sosa fight. And has been effective for Sosa, but now in this round, it's the left hook. The left hook in red. He's able to stop. He's able to stop with. Well, in that first Williams fight, when he did stop it, Sosa was ahead on all three judges' scorecards. Guys deserve to have a world title belt at least for one day. <laughs> they do. Tate trying to answer, it has been better of 60 punches, 70%. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Let go, hey, go. Now you see, 
Both time, men. Time. 86, 84, Chelsea. If you were a bet man, you put the gun to my head right now, I'd have to say anything can happen, he's been down. But I'd have to say, again, oh, here's some real good shots here. <laughs> Tate with the right hands. Having a, you know, 800 pound gorilla there. Oh, there's another knockdown. That's it. Right to the temple. And Murky Sosa stopped in round number 10. You're going to see Sosa didn't, was turning. And by turning, he might have lost vision of the punch. It didn't seem like the most crunching of blows. It didn't seem like the hardest punches he's been hit tonight. Temple? It's hard to tell there, but you know he was late on his turn. Time, two minutes, 30 seconds in round number 10. The winner by way of knockout and still the NABF super middleweight champion, Thomas Ice-T Tate.